So, welcome to the Players Cup here at Superstition Mountain. Uh, a new venue here for the club. A lot of the LPGA and even some uh, uh, Corn Ferry Tour players are members here now, especially these LPGA gals that are really good players. We get a chance to watch them on a daily basis on the range, and, and some of them play golf. This is an event they're putting on here that they're, they're playing for $1,000 first place, which is good to watch them play. But most importantly, as they're here, watch how they practice. And we're, I'm going to film them all hitting shots, and then we'll talk a little bit about, as they're playing, what to watch and what to copy and what they do. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's great to have them here, but watch how they practice and watch how they go about things. Not necessarily their swings, but the process that they go through. So let's have some fun with it. Okay, so let's talk about, we watch these LPGA girls. Uh, the main things I want you to get out from some of these videos that we took. One, they all have a specific routine. So they make practice swings. They're trying to get a feel for what they want to do with their swings. Then once they get a feel for what they want to do with their swings, now I'm going to talk to you something here about what Bob Toski helped me understand. And it's about your eyes. So I'm going to use some words here. Your eyes perceive your brain receives, your body reacts. Your eyes perceive. So what your eyes see, your brain receives that, your body reacts to that picture. So relative to watching all these girls, they all had a feel. They got some different, some many different practice swings. They're trying to get different feels. You should all have a specific practice swing that has a reason for you doing it, not just randomly moving the club. The second thing, when they come up to the ball, the first thing they all would set up is they'd look down the target line and they'd get their eyes set up relative to where they see the target line. Then they'd all aim the club, then they'd set their body up to fit, they'd take a look, and then they'd make a swing. Now, after they made the swing, you watch them all, they'd make their swings, They'd watch the ball, they'd watch it the whole flight, and what are they doing? Every one of them is getting a feel for if they liked it and if they didn't like it. If they liked it, they're replaying it. If they didn't like it, I can promise you what they're doing is they're replaying what they should have done. So again, we're into this eyes perceive, your brain receives, your body reacts. So you've got to paint a picture with your eyes in a feel that matches. You can't just stand there and say, well, I see a high draw. You have to put a feeling with the perception so your body can react to it. So that's a, that's a big deal. Now the other thing we watch with them was their tempos. There, was, there weren't any of them that had really fast tempos. Some had a little shorter swings, but when you watch these gals, because they're not as strong as the guy, now they're strong, they're athletes, they work out, that's not the point but they have to use the momentum of the club more so their swings look a lot more flowing and a lot, a lot say, looser. Well, they, they have to use the momentum of the club more, so watch the overall flow of their swings. The other thing we talked about, when we looked at their drivers from the face-on view, when they set up to the ball, when they go back, they move force into their right foot, but as they come up, is all of a sudden force hits this left foot it's like this stops going forward and then this hit gets pushed back and also away from the target. So they go, they push back away. And what that does is that accelerates their arms. That's why you see their arms straighten out in front of them. It's not because they're trying to straighten their arms, it's because this leg puts the brakes on lateral motion in your lower body and it starts pushing back and away. So when this happens, it makes this go forward. So those two forces or what make your arms straighten out, and that's what causes most of the acceleration. So that was the other thing. The last thing in their short game, here's what I watched in their short game. All their little short shots around the greens, how low they hit the ball. They're not trying to lob the ball up in the air. They're, they're, I watched 10 or 15 short game shots. Everybody, regardless of the club, even if they were using a sand wedge, they took loft off and they hit it really low. They got it on the green as quick as they could. 
because you want it on the green and rolling. So that's that's a big part of what they do, and they're really good with those short games, those little chip shots. The last thing was walking around the golf course watching them. We didn't get a chance to do a lot of this, but all of the lies, you hardly ever get a flat lie out here. Every, every lie is a little up and down, some more than others. So when watching them, every single one of them, as the lie changed, they were constantly making adjustments. Why? They've practiced on even lies, and so they know they have to adjust their setup to fit the lie so they hit the ball solid. Most amateurs, regardless of what they, they play at, the same place they play at, same ball position, same setup as they do on the range on a flat lie. If you do that and you make the same swing, you're going to miss hit it because the, the lie interrupts with the circle of your swing. So when I'm watching them going around there and watch all these little different shots and you watch them walk up to it and I can see the adjustments they're making to get the club to work correctly. So practice your uneven lies around the greens and the fairways. You have to figure out how to make adjustments to be able to hit uneven lies. If you don't, you're going to make a lot of really good swings and all that's going to happen is you're going to miss hit the shot thinking that it was a bad swing. When it was really a good swing, you just didn't make the right adjustments. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.